I prefer to, and I'm gonna say it. Oh no! Oh no! Close your ears, Mexicans. <laughs> um, so what's like in the you UK? Yeah, you yeah. guys don't have the same um, gun mm. thing. <laughs> oh, that we're we getting do. political now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, guys. Yeah. Oh, guys. Like it's very easy to fantasize Mes Mexico, and like be really precious about it. You know, like everything is perfect. Uh, oh, this is uh, none of this can stay. <laughs> it can all, this can all this, be deleted. All of this has to be deleted. It's gone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. That's better. There we go. I'll get clo uh, yeah, closer this time. <laughs> Hopefully, it's in focus. Right, let's think. Sun. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. I like it. Should I get out of shot and then walk in? I don't know. Boss mode. Yeah. <laughs> I just burped. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We, we just had wine Bloopers. and we had enchiladas. <laughs> just, just imagine if we'd had like agua, um, agua mineral. Oh, disaster! <laughs> yeah. Oh awesome. God, we've got to do this again. <laughs> okay, cue YouTube intro. Our restaurant, and um, can you guess who I'm with? make something happen okay hi guys <laughs> I have a special guest here it's Gwen Stefani no it's <laughs> it's not Gwen Stefani sorry Hans amigos <laughs> okay you've probably already seen his videos if you haven't you need to right now this is David from the Tower of David she can pronounce it perfectly fantastic Woo! Yay! Un <laughs> unlike many Spanish words. Indeed. Ba -dum -bum. <laughs> ba -dum -bum. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> you are in Guanajuato. You are going everywhere. That's my best summary. You Pretty just, much. How many cities have you been in in the oh last God. couple of weeks? We, we should have really prepared this beforehand. No, <laughs> no. This is now we're know. quizzing you. This is a test. Since you left Mexico City in um, oh, I think it's only a, April. A, just a couple of weeks ago, yeah. Okay, so, so I've how been, many cities since then? I've been in Querétaro, mm -hmm. Bernal, Tequisquiapan. Oh. Pronunciation, people. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna put like a big trophy on the yeah. screen. You get a trophy first. That would be epic. Yeah. Yeah, so how long have I been in Mexico? Similar yeah. time to Erin, so mm -hmm. about, I, I got here 14 months ago, but I went to Colombia, places like that. Oh yeah, most of that time I was in Mexico City. Um, but I've been Yucatan, Jalisco, Jalisco, Guerrero, San Luis Oaxaca. Potosí is the best place. Oh, Oaxaca, yeah. yeah. Puebla. I've never been to San Luis Potosí. Oh, San Luis Potosí is so the good. best. Yeah. I'm going back there next week. And what do I do? Um, yeah. Just basically travel videos, digital nomad mm -hmm. videos, teaching English online, um, the reality, an honest look at long-term travel, none of this fake business <laughs> that, of course, none of us YouTubers do. Never. Never. Right. No. Ever. Yeah. So what are we going to talk about today, Erin? Hmm. Hmm. I forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> We've, we swap, like, Instagram emails and stuff and comments and everything, and, like, one of the things that's so interesting to me is you're from the UK. I am. London. You know, there's a lot of things I think that the YouTubers in Mexico who are from the States come into this with a lot of like mental baggage and like baggage from stuff they hear, you know, stuff we hear from people at home, things we hear on the, you know, the news and stuff. And yeah. you have a totally different perspective. Absolutely. So you were saying yeah. like in the UK, it's not like, it's just Mexico is not like a top, a regular topic of conversation. Yeah. It, you yeah. know, because yeah. I think, I think the UK has uh, so much more to worry about at the moment in terms of Brexit and the EU <laughs> and I didn't vote, by the way, for Brexit. And um, yeah, <laughs> oh no! Really, now you have to clarify. Did you not vote at all? I didn't. Could you? Are you? You're, are you a terrible human being? And Pretty citizen? much. It's, so it's all your fault. Yeah, is what it's you all say. my fault. It's all down okay. to me. Well, yeah. it's good to have somebody to blame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I mean, I, th I think largely because of the proximity, well, lack of proximity mm -hmm. to Mexico, mm -hmm. it is in the UK. Uh, it's just not spoken about. Mm -hmm. No one talks about it and I think in terms of the, the view of Mexico that people have in the UK it's always mm -hmm. been a very much positive one. At least I've mm -hmm. always had a positive view. So when I first got here mm -hmm. and I saw a lot of these videos about right. is this Mexico and Mexico shocked me and all this stuff about the media, mainstream media, mm -hmm. I honestly thought really? 
Mm -hmm. Is that the honest truth? But then mm -hmm. longer I've been here, absolutely, I've seen that there is definitely a different view of Mexico in the mm -hmm. States as I've had in the UK. Yeah. Massively, hugely. Um, yeah. And it's become far more apparent as I mm -hmm. move on. So those things like, is this Mexico? Even though I joke about it, yeah. <laughs> I get it. I understand yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a bit like, you know, if I go to, I can't think of a country that is France. Okay, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of rivalry between England and France. Bus. Bus. Yeah, so historically there's a lot of um, rivalry between England and France and mm -hmm. there's a lot of negativity towards France. Mm -hmm. Brussels, the EU, and that's... Oh yeah, Brussels, I yeah. mean really. I mean really. So I... I, <laughs> I don't know. So that, <laughs> See, that, like, nobody in the United States yeah. could even point to Brussels on a map. Where is it? <laughs> so yeah. we're like, what? Well, yeah, Brussels? Maybe we should do a video do about that. Do they have sprouts yeah. there? <laughs> <laughs> they probably do. Sprouts are the worst. <laughs> Christmas dinner, 1987, was the worst day of my life. Oh. So that negativity and um, often mainstream media, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Unrealistic view, um, mm -hmm. misconceptions right. of EU. I guess it's the same with America, the US oh. and Mexico. Whoa, Definitely. I never thought about that. So I came into it with a very much Oh. You could say open mind mm -hmm. or not corrupted mind, mm -hmm. which I think has been the case with many mm -hmm. North Americans. Do you feel like you don't, you know, I, I feel like we, people from the States who move to Mexico, I think we often feel like we have to defend Mexico and defend our choices for moving here. Did you have anybody at home being like, are you safe in Mexico? Mm -hmm. Like, are you like, is it okay for you to be in Mexico? Yeah. I mean, you lived in Mexico City. Mm. There was like, did you ever have to like reassure people? Or um, <laughs> that's an amazing question. You should be an interviewer, Erin. Ha ha! <laughs> amazing. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, especially with Mexico City, and I, I'm not one of these people that stayed in, you know, the typical areas like Condesa right. and Roma and Cuyacan. Mm -hmm. I preferred to, and I'm gonna say it. Oh no! Oh no! Close your ears, Mexicans. Um, I'm going to say it. I prefer to experience the real Mexico. So I stayed in places like Doctores, um, Guerrero. Where else did I stay? Um, Navate. Okay, that's not too bad. But, you know, I stayed in some areas that are considered to be dangerous at times, but they weren't. It's fine. Um, but, yeah, some people in the UK definitely asked me the question, Mexico's full of drug cartels. Are you, have you been sold to a drug cartel? No, I haven't. Um, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> but yeah, you survived. I survived. I'm going to yeah. make a video now of like surviving Mexico. Mm. I survived Mexico. <laughs> Bel believe it or not, people, it's not that difficult to survive. Mexico is no different from any other country, honestly. Um, but yeah, pe people yeah. would ask me particularly about drug cartels. Am I safe? Mm -hmm. Have I been mugged? Mm -hmm. Have I been attacked? How many times has that happened? Right. Zero. Yeah. Absolute yeah. zero. I've yeah. never even, even on the subway in Mexico City, never yeah. had an issue. Yeah. It's all about being streetwise. Yeah. And if you go to London, you know, London in the UK, I consider that more dangerous than Mexico City. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's another question for you. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, this is a, <laughs> this is one for you. Um, so in the Sorry States, about my hair, everyone, by the way. No, it's great. It's, I think I... It needs thumbs, a haircut, urgently. Thumbs, thumbs up if you like David's <laughs> yeah, hair. Yeah, do the like, <laughs> hit the like if you like the hair. But don't do the dislike if you don't like it. <laughs> um, so I think what my theory about why people from the States especially freak out about the crime rate in Mexico is, is when we see the, the high numbers, and they are high, we are so used to, as a country, violence being random, unpredictable, sporadic, and... You know, we are so used to being afraid in very public places which should be safe. Mm, yeah. We are used to going to a movie theater and knowing where the exits are in case yeah. somebody starts shooting us. Yeah. Yeah. And so when it, we think, well, if our crime rate is here and I'm so scared, like your crime rate is here. Oh, my gosh. Mm. How is it in the UK? Sorry, there's like a maybe a squirrel or something. Something is having a party in this tree. <laughs> Remember that word for later, <laughs> squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Yeah. I can't say What do you say? Squirrel. Squirrel? Two syllables. Squ <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> that is really different. <laughs> so what's like in the UK? Yeah, you yeah. guys don't have the same um, gun 
thing. Oh, <laughs> that we're we getting do. political now. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys. Yeah. Oh, guys. Is it, do you feel like there's a different view of crime? Mm, I think that's a, no, another wonderful question. <laughs> I think it's kind of 50-50, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm half there in terms of the violence and the risk in terms of things like terrorism, because that's obviously a huge right. factor. Right. Um, so very similar. Similarly, mm -hmm. when you go to, you know, if I went to somewhere in London that was uh -huh. a crowded area, I would be slightly wary. I've even, uh -huh. when I was living in London, um, I even considered carrying a weapon on me at some point. Uh, when it was really bad because Whoa. and that's a uh, that's a shocker you know Whoa. um what, okay but what kind of weapon can you carry like, uh, you, can can't you, you can't really carry anything. You can't have a gun, right? No, you can't have a gun. Uh, <laughs> like, you can't have a knife. You can't have anything. Okay. Um, <laughs> like, what? <Yeah>. Like, <laughs> Maybe we'll bottle? cut that bit out of the video. Um, <laughs> no, no, we're keeping that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, so there is that element of fear mm -hmm. and um, being aware of your surroundings. Uh -huh. um, but at the yeah. same time, there isn't that whole aspect. You know, if I went to the cinema, that's another right. one, cinema, right. movies. Um, cinema. Yeah, I wouldn't be concerned about someone coming in and shooting everyone. If I was in a school, I wouldn't have that. Right. That's probably a stereotype. No, that is not a stereotype. It's reality. No, I okay. taught I taught college. I don't think there was a day that I didn't think about it in my classroom. Yeah. It's, I guess it's slightly different mm -hmm. in terms of the whole gun aspect mm -hmm. because um, I think the fact that there are no gun, well, guns aren't yeah. legal in any way except for hunting in uh -huh. the UK. Um, mm -hmm it's kind of been replaced by knives so stabbing is a massive issue in london and also wow. acid acid attacks and gangs as well wow um, so i would be more concerned in london with someone throwing acid in my face or um or being stabbed by a, usually a drug gang or something it's kind of similar um mm. but i think it's more i mean from my point of view it feels like it's more about in the uk about the risk of terrorism yeah rather i mean obviously 9-11 yeah. but you know right. i think in right. From my point of view, in the yeah. US, it feels like it's more about gun crime at the right, moment right. than uh, any other issue. Right. And and that is that's interesting because that's another like feels very random. There isn't any nobody in that attack did something specific to the person, the perpetrator. Like there is no relationship there. Whereas a lot of not all of the violence here, but a lot of the violence is cartels against cartels mm. it's all internal it's yeah. internal stuff in and i'm not saying that therefore it's deserved because i think sometimes people take that a step further and say well you know if you're mixed up in that that's just your own fault you had it coming yeah. and i don't you know it's a complex issue um, so what you're telling me what was I saying? is oh. that people from the UK yeah. are just as dangerous and racist as we are in the US. That's very disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> That's really disappointing because yeah. I feel like there's this sort of like hope that our problems, you know, are just like, well, if we just did things a little bit more like you guys, we could fix it. <laughs> Interesting. So I honestly feel like we're yeah. more similar than we than yeah. we think because I think not just a, in terms of from Amer an American point of view, but mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of misconceptions from foreigners uh -huh. about the UK, you know, that wow. everyone speaks like this, like the Queen. Right. Um, of but they don't, mate. They talk <laughs> like this, all right? This is a proper London accent. Um, <laughs> most people think I'm Australian. G'day, mate. <laughs> You're great, girl, huh? um, But yeah, um, so misconceptions wise, yeah, there's a lot of misconceptions about the UK that everyone is very well spoken and very yeah, yeah. polite, but yeah, actually yeah. no. Yeah. It's, and I know I'm probably generalizing and. Well, I, you know. But it's reality. <laughs> From my we point, all do it. We're yeah. <laughs> I, I lived in London for 34 years yeah, and yeah. that's my experience of it. Everyone, yeah. well, people can be quite rude and right. racist and there's a lot of prejudice, mm -hmm. not only in terms of race, but also in terms of other things mm -hmm. like sexuality and everything. Wow, um, so you're saying that... Pretty much you, the same. You, we are the same. We're the same. Absolutely. Yeah. Same in Mexico. And this is the thing mm. that drives me nuts because I, I hear a lot of people... Like, it's very easy to fantasize mes Mexico and, you know, to make it like this... You're, you know, if you don't buy into, oh, it's just a big, you know, it's one big drug cartel shootout, mm. um, you can go the other way and like be really precious about it and just be like everybody is so nice which means nobody can be mean nobody can be rude nobody can be racist you know like everything is perfect yeah. you know people really believe 
you know, nobody's ever on their cell phones. Mm. They don't eat at Applebee's and Chili's. And like, I know? love Chili's. <laughs> chili's is you the like best. Chili's? I love Chili's. See, stop. Like, everybody in the U.S. just stop about the stop. Chili's. Like, <laughs> but I don't like Taco Bell. People are people mm. everywhere. And yeah. we're all, like, grappling with the same problems and issues. It just takes different flavors and colors and, like, shapes because we're all Absolutely. a little bit, like, culturally different. Yeah. But wow, that's, that's really interesting because I think a lot of people in the U.S. do that about, about Europe too, especially liberal-leaning people. Yeah. Like, I think, I think we really want to believe like you guys have it all figured out so yeah. that maybe if we could just like please like but it's adopt really some of your I mean, ways, like just <laughs> just, just look at Brexit and the absolute uh, yeah. shambles that that has been from day one. Yeah. That pretty much sums up the UK right yeah. now. I'm almost, yeah. it's almost as if I'm ashamed to be from the UK because it's its like, really? you know, the, it, the UK is a laughing stock yeah. to the wow. rest of the world. See, I mean, I can't imagine what it would be like to be from a country that is currently the laughing stock of the world. Like, Pretty much. I can't imagine what it would be like. To <laughs> Total hypocrite here. I didn't <laughs> even vote. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what can you do <laughs> that's interesting because i we a lot of us americans especially in mexico you know i i think we are we're very aware of what's going on back home the things that are being said about mexico about mexicans about you know lumping everybody south of the border in with mexico we're very we're hyper aware of it and we're we're very like i mean jesse and i if we're out like we will not this i don't know if i can even leave this in there yeah. <laughs> like we won't say president trump because i don't know if people will understand what we're saying about that and i don't want anybody to be like yes you know, or they think that I'm saying, I love President Trump and I hate Mexico or blah, blah, blah. Mm. Oh, this is, none of this can stay. <laughs> like, can all, this can all this, be deleted. All of this has to be deleted. It's gone. Yeah, it, it just, <laughs> it's interesting because I think we kind of feel like maybe we're the only ones where we have to be like, oh gosh, like, I really wish I could just pretend that I was Canadian. Yeah, totally. But it's so interesting that, the, that you have the same thing. So in, in, in conclusion, I think we've realized we are more similar than we think. <sighs> yeah. Regardless of where we come from, yeah. which sums up the philosophy of the world. We're all the same. <laughs> We're all humans. I know. It doesn't matter if you're Mexican, American, British, yeah. whatever. Who cares? Yeah. We're all going to be in the same grave at the end of the day. Oh. Well, not the same one, but yeah. you know, <laughs> hopefully not the same right. one. <laughs> Mass grave right. for everyone. No. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, that's it. one thing I think Mexican culture understands a lot better than certainly in the U.S. Is like there isn't there is that very like that acceptance of yeah, like that's where we're all headed. Like you know, you can you can have you can have all the shiny toys you want, yeah. but. You know, rich, at rich, the end. poor, black, white, old, young, gay, yeah. straight, whatever. We'll all yeah. be in the same decomposing yeah. hole. In there the you end. go. We gotta, Beautiful. We, we gotta, we gotta, Let's like, end it on a nice note. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Kumbaya. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. <laughs> I remember that one. Classic. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs>